just not really uh, running at all, just being able to throw, um, things like that. Just mainly I, surgery went well, uh, took the screws out, all that's um, fixing everything, but uh, just make sure I get the strength back in my quad and my calf before I do any heavy running. How much is that affecting your ability to, to throw the ball right now too in terms of like planting your feet and things like that? Um, no. A little bit, being that I can't drive off it uh, like I normally would, uh, being that it just didn't have the strength like it did uh, when I was playing. But um, nothing too crazy, just kind of make it up with your arm. JT, how do you guys in the quarterback room look at this? It's kind of a circus outside the way we talk about you three. How do you guys look at this sort of competition? Uh, just like that. And that's the thing, like, we compete like every year. I mean, last year there was competition. I mean, that's so it is. Nobody's really safe around here. Because, I mean, you start playing bad, and the guy behind you is probably just good. You know what I'm saying? So you really can't be um, laxed in whatever you're doing. So there's always competition here, and uh, that's just what it is, just competition. But uh, we encourage each other. Um, I mean, it's not any bad blood between any of us. Or, or my brothers and my older brothers, so it's not, it's not like that. I'm just competing, trying to get better too. That's the main thing. Everybody's trying to get better in which you want in the program. You had some, there were some comments from you in the paper this morning that mm -hmm. you hadn't beat out Braxton, Cardell hadn't beat out you. Does that mean that that is the pecking order? No. <laughs> no. no. Like I said, it's still competition, but it's just the thought that um, nobody beat out anybody. So when I came in and started playing, I was just doing my part as far as being a quarterback on the team. And the same thing when I got hurt, Cardell was just doing his part. So it, it, I think. Uh, Oftentimes, it's out there thinking that one person beat out another one, but nobody really beat anybody. We was definitely competing when everybody was healthy, you know, trying to play. But then when the unfortunate things happened with Braxton and myself, I mean, we were just, you know, doing our part, just being a quarterback and knowing that we had to step in and make plays, you know. So that's all that was. Is this really a competition then, Nets, since you're not 100% Braxton can't throw? Obviously, Cardell is probably about as good as he can be. but. Um, yeah, I, I really don't sure. I'm really not sure about that. I just think, I mean, we just try to focus on getting healthy as far as myself, and I think the same thing approach practice taking as well. Just trying to get healthy so we'll be able to, to um, you know, play like we want to play uh, when it comes to the fall. What's the key for you? What are you trying to get out of this spring until you can run? What's the key? Um, I think just understanding defense better. I think oftentimes during the season, I knew what was happening, but it may took me that extra half second to, to distinguish what coverage it was and things like that. So trying to get a better feel for uh, coverages and going against our defense is a great thing each and every day, knowing that they do a great job of just scouting what they're trying to do. And so it helps me out. Uh, so we play good teams along the road that are going to disguise uh, what they're trying to do. So I just have a better feel of what I need to do with football, depending on whatever coverage it may be.